EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live third round coverage of the United States Open Championship. Hello again and welcome Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo here to call the action for EA Sports at the U.S. Open Championship. We are at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington. And Frank, this does not look like any U.S. Open golf course that I have seen. No, it's quickly getting the respect of uh, many of the golf pundits and riders out there as just this wonderful blend of links and parkland style golf. It presents so beautifully to the eye but also it challenges every aspect of your game. And really, you couldn't want for anything more than that when you were going to play a major championship. Designed by Robert Trent Jones II with breathtaking views of the Puget Sound as well as the Olympic Mountains. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot is on the fairway over 300 yards. safely on deck. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. He has this for par. For a bad score on the card, that's par. Second hole now here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open. Frank, it's a relatively short par four. It doesn't mean it's easy, though. Uh, This is more of a strategic hole. You want to lay the ball up around sort of 270, 280 yards, avoid that big bunker on the left. It is going to leave a short iron in, but the hole bends to the left as well as the slope of the land is right to left. Got to take that into account. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Frank, what's the best way to access the hole location on this second shot here at the second hole at Chambers Bay? Well, Rich, it's really set up with a drive. If you can drive it down the right side, you get a bit of view. Plus, you can avoid that ridge that's in the middle of the green on the left side. Um, if you're coming in from the left side, that bunker on the right, now you realize why they put that there. Because when you've got a skirt to the right of that ridge, that second shot becomes a little more difficult. With that birdie, moves one shot closer to the lead. Now on to the first par three of the U.S. Open here at Chambers Bay. It's all in front of you. Beautiful uh, view there in the distance. You can see the water. Um, Once again, it does slope a little right to left. Don't have to go straight at the flag here. This one's a little bit of a sleeper. Birdie try up next. Shouldn't be a problem here. I thought he had that. Can't booty them all, Rich. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank. Frank, the fourth hole here at Chambers Bay is the kind of par four that says emphatically U.S. Open. Yeah, it's not a rarity these days to have par fours that are around 500 yards. This is just slightly shy of that. Once again, it's a stiff tee shot. And avoid trouble left and right. A little bit of a bend to the right on this hole, but uh, don't be fooled by that. If anything, the drive has to be hit down the left side. And 
And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. I mean, really, on top of his game right now. That was a splendid approach shot. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. That is a solid par putt right there. Fifth hole here at the U.S. Open. Frank, why do they call it free fall? Um, I guess because you can make a mess here. You just keep going down. Bunkers left and right. There's acres of sand on the left and right. And just one little measly bunker that it's smack bang in the front of the screen. And a huge elevation change from tee to fairway. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot. And now a good look at the green. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Settles in over the putt. And no problems there. And it keeps the round going. Keeps the momentum on his side. Frank, now at the sixth, this appears to be a testing par four long one. It is, but once again, a generous fairway. Just use those mounds down the left as an indicator on your line. Um, hole bends a little bit to the right. Good tee shot, though, and everything is in front of you. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, a new thing, you just ride a par down at the end, of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Well, Frank, what a stretch of tough par fours here at Chambers Bay. Now to the seventh, long uphill par four and a lot of trouble to the right. Yeah, and it's all sand, that's for sure. Um, if you miss the field on the left, then it's all June, so take your pick, really. But ideally, that uh, green piece at the uh, 
the superintendent often mows each and every day. That's the place to go. And for a U.S. Open at 508 yards, if you miss that, that little green strip, then this hole will be hazardous because it's going to play a lot longer than that uphill. Frank did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Now on the green, has about 10 feet left there to save par. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. This from seven feet. And he takes care of business there. Solid strike. 